how to safely tow a caravan or trailer. Hello, I'm Ian. I worked in driver education for many years. Today we are going to look at road positioning and manoeuvring a caravan. This video should help all sections of road users understand the difficulties caravan drivers face. It should help anybody who is considering buying a caravan and even have something for the experienced driver. Janet is our stunt driver for today. We have chosen a large car pack to demonstrate wing mirror turns. We have all faced the problem of being jammed in a parking space and have had to rely on the car mirrors to get us out of the space without hitting the parked obstacle, in this case the bin. This demonstration shows we turn after our wing mirrors pass the object, so we have sight of it at all times. The point being, if we can see it, we shouldn't hit it. This is true when towing a caravan. If you use the caravan mirrors, the same thing should be true. If you can see the caravan's line of travel, you should know how close you are at getting to the object, such as parked cars and the curb. For anyone unfamiliar with towing caravans, caravan mirrors are the extension to the wing mirrors that give a view down the side of the caravan, eliminating blind spots. There is a relationship between how much room we have and how we steer. So positioning correctly before we reach a junction is important. This may require the use of the right hand lane or part of it when turning left at a sharp corner. Anticipation is the key. It's no good getting to the junction and then thinking I'm jammed in. If you are, steer wide. If you can't, don't turn. The other problem is the caravan has tail swing when lots of lock is applied and it will cut across the corner on the inside of a sharp left turn. Generally, new roads have curved corners. These make driving easy and safer. But when towing, use the caravan mirrors before you turn and depending on how much room you have, you may have to use your mirror to watch the position of the caravan tyre as your corner. You may have to adjust your line out of the corner if the tyre is getting too close to the kerb. So, mirror, signal, manoeuvre early. Position yourself correctly for the turn. Assess the speed you need to be at and be aware of what is on the road you are entering and steer according to the situation. Look in the caravan mirror for bikes that may come upon your inside and react to traffic on the road you are entering. If the road or gateway you are entering is narrow and the corner tight, give yourself room by manoeuvring wide. On this left turn, mirror and signal early, position wide of the kerb, Traffic shouldn't come up on your inside, but if it does, let them pass before you turn. If you are on the main road, you may have to let traffic out of the junction you want to enter before completing the turn, and the caravan mirror will inform you of the correct line you need to take at the corner. Similar to the wing mirror turns we used in the car park earlier. In this example of a narrow road with tight corners turning left onto a narrow road, you may have to go to the opposite side of the road before you turn. Then you will have to time your turn to fit in with traffic coming along the road towards you. But still be aware of what is coming up on your left before being able to complete your turn and think about traffic in the road you want to enter. Don't forget to use the caravan mirrors to keep track of the caravan tyres as you turn. Right turns can be easier because of the extra width of the road, but remember your caravan will tend to cut the corner, so watch for traffic in the side road and, if there is traffic on the side road, 
watching your caravan mirror as you turn. If it is too tight, consider letting the traffic out of the junction. In this example, turning right, the parked cars create problems. You have to understand how the tow vehicle and caravan will move as you weave through the obstacles and sometimes you need to check the back of the caravan is past the obstruction before a plane steering lock, even if you have to stop and get out. Find another route is an option. If you don't know the area, a quick look at the sat-nav will give you clues if you have one. Sometimes there's no alternative but to make the turn an inch through. The line you steer will become obvious. The caravan's mirrors will help, but an understanding of the way the caravan and tow vehicle move relative to each other is essential. This is why we started the video on a car park. By videoing the movement of the rig under different steering situations, we can better judge and manoeuvre our rig. That is why we started the video on a large car park. By videoing the movement of the rig under different steering situations, we can better judge this manoeuvre. Our rig will react differently from others. And the only way to properly understand the dynamics of your rig is to observe it. If you are driving a Land Rover Discovery Sport and towing a Bailey Unicorn 7.5 metre long caravan, it will react the same as this video shows. The Land Rover Discovery Sport has full left lock applied, but watch the hitch push the caravan front end to the right, then watch the tail swing at the rear. The Land Rover Discovery Sport has two thirds left lock applied. There is slight movement at the front end of the caravan and less tail swing than the full lock example. The Land Rover Discovery Sport has one third left lock applied. There is no movement to the right and less tail swing than before. Finally, from a standing start, the Land Rover has left lock applied as it starts to move as you would in most driving situations and the tail swing relevant to the lane direction is less than previous examples. So back to the right turn. Now we know how the caravan and car move relevant to each other and we can better judge where to position them in tight situations. Notice the driver has no view of the obstruction nearest to the corner. The driver or a passenger may need to get out of the car to observe the clearance on this obstruction. Then by using the caravan mirrors and with the help of the passenger it is possible to constantly readjust the position of the tow vehicle to safely negotiate the obstructions. This may require the application of lock while the tow vehicle is stationary. The knowledge of how this affects the movement of the caravan is essential. Here the red oblong represents the position of the tow vehicle's wheels and it is constantly adjusted as a driver inches forward. The position of the caravan wheels are acting as a pivot and are a reference point that needs to be taken into consideration as a rig moves forward. Roundabouts can be fun. Early assessment can make life easier. Mini roundabouts are designed to be run over by large vehicles and you are a large vehicle. You may need to straddle two lanes on your approach to protect other vehicles from being squeezed by you on the roundabout. At large roundabouts there's no problem but you have to assess that grey area in between the two. Don't get squeezed into a lane and then spend your time giving way to drivers that come up on your inside lane. Remember, your steering line will be different from other road users, but learn from your error and give yourself room next time. It's all about assessing the situation in advance. Road signs, sat-nav information all help when you are driving on unfamiliar roads. But beware of the limitations of your sat-nav system. This Land Rover's sat-nav allows a choice of the quickest, the shortest and the most economic route. It doesn't give you an option for the widest route. 
For me, this sat-nav is only a moving map that gives an indication of how tight the junctions are and what shape they are. I emailed Land Rover and the local Land Rover dealership about the limitations of their sat-nav system and asked if it was possible to use preloaded route using .gpx file formats from Google Maps like other sat-nav systems allow. No was the answer, so it's maps for me for the foreseeable future. I know there's an app called Copilot designed for caravans and heavy goods vehicles, but I use my Android tablet as a rear view monitor to see out of the caravan's bathroom window. I even emailed Copilot suggesting they could modify their app to work on an SD card with the Land Rover SatNav. I received another no on that idea. It takes a different level of concentration to drive safely while towing. Back to Janet for the final word. Hello, your support is important to us. Please subscribe to our channel Useful Wisdom by clicking the kite icon here. If you would like to watch more of our videos, we have a playlist and if you would like to click the icon here, you can watch them. Thank you for watching. Bye for now. Thank you.